These are delicious. They are lovely, these sweets. In Japan, they are lovely, lovely, lovely. They are really delicious. Rose flavoured. Oh, they're lovely. Mmm. I'll get these regular. They're lovely. Mmm. Beauty Rose. From the crazy people. It does the crazy popping cooking. Oh, and I had to get some pixie dust roll on because this is so, so lovely. This perfume is so delicious. Ah, oh, it's one of my favourites. I just love it. It's lovely. I've got this from Amazon. It's delicious. It's so lovely. It reminds me a little bit of the roll on pink one that Glitter Babes by Boots used to do, the Glitter Babes that was called Sugar Candy I think, and that was nice, but oh this is lovely, it's so delicious there's the pink pearl, that's some sort of lacquer that I got from Poundland last week and I showed it on, it's like a pearl effect for craft so it is, yeah, it seems to be quite waterproof and permanent, so that might be useful to make doll jewellery or paint doll jewellery with. Well, let's see. Oh, Dolly's being washed. <laughs> this is a sight you don't see every day. <laughs> in my friend's rather ramshackle house and uh, yeah, I'm in the light because the light's behind me so the camera's creating a shadow. But these dolls needed the hair. These, the two thrift shop ones needed washing and the other one had glue head changing their shoes around. Not Sheridan. This is... That's Olivia. I was going to call her Ophelia, but I thought, no, Olivia. That's Leonora. Right, I've changed their shoes around. I think they match more now, their skin tones. These were on this one, which I thought suited her outfit, but they didn't go with it. They were too light for her skin. And they are no Lee shoes, so, but they don't really go with this outfit. But I've got the silver Hollywood ones on her other pink frilly short dress, and I think that suits that. But it would suit this one as well, so, yeah. So where are we are, it's Olivia. change their shoes around the game. Oh, how dark. The sun's gone in outside, so it's dark in here. <coughs> the two twins. She's going to have to go away soon for the winter because uh, she's a speech one. But, um, yeah. At least she's got her shoes now. Now, that one's broken, I know, but I'd, already, I'd mended this one. This is the one I couldn't find. I'd mended it with my glue I got from Sainsbury's. The super, uh, not super glue, the... Ah, uh, I can't remember what it's called now. I did show it in one of my hauls videos prior. But yeah, so this one's Phoebe and this is Mirabelle. I did think Wilhelmina. Wilhelm, Wilhel, but that's trying to spell Wilhelmina. Is it? Yeah, I still get used to it. But Wilhelmina and Phoebe, but no, it's Phoebe and Mirabelle. It's a bit like Mirabelle. Oh dear. But I thought, yeah, Mirabelle. And, and I said, I ran it past my friend and I said well Amina he said oh no so I said what about Mirabelle oh that's better he said to be honest I think I prefer Wilhelmina but so I thought okay we'll call her Mirabelle <laughs> and hope it's not too much like Mirabelle <laughs> maybe I'll call this one Ophelia I know she's Chelsea because I mean, anyone's screaming but she's Chelsea I know she's Chelsea I've, but I don't want them all called Chelsea I wonder if she's one of the German and Jamaica ones. I don't know, but she's got no earring holes, so... Anyhow, they're so pretty. This doll has as a, was new, and it's got the worst case of glue head I've ever had in any of these Mattel dolls, ever. And I've washed this one's hair. I've lost count of how many times I've washed it, and I can hardly touch it. Her head's so sticky. It, it's just... Horrible, horrible. Oh. And these are just some of my Madison or Wesley dolls, but um, I haven't called her Madison because I've already got a Barbie fashionista that's called Madison, so I might call one of these Wesley. But um, 
I'm not sure. Here's one in the original my bling bling outfit, though the, the shoes I've, I've had to find from... Because I haven't got many... I think I've got about two my scene shoes that would suit this one's skin colouring. This one is in the original Masquerade Madness outfit, though I don't think the boots are, but I thought that's all I could find for her to wear. I've called this one Kitty. It's pretty obvious, really, I know, but I've given her a little Kitty bag as well. You just see it under there, under her arm. She's holding her bag in place. This one I've shown before I've called Kerry. This is Kerry. She had no clothes at all when I got her, so um, I gave her that little dress to wear. I think that suits her very well. This one, this one I've called Autumn, because that is a name apparently. So I mended those those shoes. Um, one strap had snapped. I mended it with my glue from Sainsbury's. She's got the bend bendable legs, and I gave her these earrings. Um, so yeah, this is Autumn, and uh, this one, she's lost a shoe, or boot rather, I've got it somewhere, I don't know what's happened to it, but I gave her those leggings that Puppy Chase Barbie came in, I think they suit this one really well, and um, I don't know what I'm going to call her, I haven't given this one a name yet, I'm not going to call her something obvious like Beyonce. <laughs> No. Oh, she's lovely, isn't she? She's really beautiful. Really beautiful. And I think this outfit, I like the. I like this combination that I've given her. I think it really suits her. I want to think of a suitable name. So is she. and um, it's too washed out but oh, look at the Daleks ground behind me <laughs> yeah so I was in shoe and uh, this doll I've had to wash her hair again the glue and I, I still feel it's sticky now even when it's wet it's still sticky worst, worst case of glue head I've ever known I have to talk quietly because my friend's downstairs and I don't want to be overheard He's not into the whole YouTube thing. <laughs> this is the third time that I've had to, I've had I've, at home. I've got a different modem. See, look, this is what's happening now. That sparks and it's burnt slightly, so it's obviously that it's worn. I wonder if I could put some um, as an insulating tape round there. It might be usable again. I always like to have one in spare. So I'm on my third one now. One, I had one. And this plastic pin broke off in the wall socket and so I had to constantly just, I had to keep that wall socket with the pin still in there, I couldn't get it out, it was flush with the, you know, the, you, there was nothing, you couldn't get pliers to pull, get hold of the end to pull it out because it was stuck in there. And I just used to have to keep putting those two in so that then it was still, a, those two were the ones you need, this is just a dummy pin. But I couldn't put anything else in that socket because that was in there and I took the socket off the wall but because of the way it was situated at the back of the thing that I took off the wall it was so complicated I had to just put it back again and I couldn't get this thing out 
So what I did eventually, I stuck some super glue on the the end there where it had broken off, stuck it into the wall socket so that this would then attach to the pin again, left it overnight and then pulled it out and then it did bring the thing out with it. And um, But of course the, doing that it had broken off slightly but by, I'd already had another one put in. So that's a good little tip if anyone gets one of these things and the same thing happens. But I'm going to put a bit of insulating tape around there because I had no internet last night for a while when I um, put the new the new one of these I just put into my modem and it, it didn't wreck it, it I don't know it, it said there's no internet but it, it said I was connected to the internet but then it, it said your computer's trying to co connect to a DNS server that doesn't exist or something but I think it might have been just that the internet was down at that time because um when I put the new one in it was okay and then I'm it went off again so I'm going to try the other of this do you? you know how I ramble on I was on to, but it's my vlog, isn't it? I'm telling you about things that happened in my week. And um, I've just had some of this. Feast on the lovely. loveliness that is the Sara Sushi Visits Japan. And we've got white screens. So I can't even... Yeah, they should be back now. So, yeah, you've got the reflections going on, I can see. We'll look at this tomorrow all being well when I'm home, because I'm at my friend's house tonight. So, hopefully tomorrow I'll be... Hopefully show this in all her glory properly and if anyone's following the uh, Susie with this secret scenario uh, I had yeah I probably will I will show it at some point what it is but um I'm, I, I was, it's a bit iffy it's uh, uh, I don't know whether I think it's in bad taste or whether it's how it should be or I don't even like to say it this is how stupid uh, yeah, I just don't feel comfortable with really, but at the same time I think, you know, I want to show people because I think people would be interested about this little skipper doll that I've called Susie. Because, um, she's got what other skipper dolls don't have and in fact what most dolls don't have and they probably should have to be realistic, but I expect you can guess, but it's not some people would find it in very bad taste and would be shocked and horrified and offended and not like it at all, so it's funny, isn't it? There's things that people would have taken in their stride in the old days that nowadays people would have, have to have counselling for months for. And yet there's other things that people would have been shocked and horrified by that people just take for granted nowadays. It's how times change, as people say. Oh, I feel the need to ramble. But, um... Hardly anyone watches. I don't suppose anyone will even hear me saying this, so I can say what I like. I could show what I like, really. So if I did so show Susie with her secret, nobody would even see it unless I did put it in the headline. And I never put it in the head. I always just put the mundane stuff in the titles of my videos so that most people would buy. Because I only want. I mean, most people bypass it anyway. But I only want people to watch my videos or actually want to see them this is why I never ask for subscribers because um, I'm not into all the oh you sub to me and I'll sub to you because that I, I only want people that sub because they genuinely want to because on my original channel which is the one I used to subscribe to none of those people subscribe to me and I don't expect them to and I've never once said it to any of them right okay I've subbed to you now I expect you to sub back because I don't and that's not how you're supposed to use YouTube anyway and I expect the majority of people would probably say, yes, it is. That is exactly how you're supposed to use YouTube, but it isn't. And um, knowing my luck, if, if I ever dared to say that, I expect immediately I'd get someone saying, oh, right, we're suspending your account because you've been asking for subscribers. So I never, ever, do, never do that. Why do I feel the need to pontificate so much about things? I suppose it's because of how I, what I've had to put up with today uh, in one way and another. And I've been out and about. Yeah. One wall for one and another one for somebody else sort of thing. But never mind about that. No one wants to hear about that, so I'm not going to talk about it. Oh, look at that. He's got new batteries in, so he lights up now. <coughs> I can see we're washed out. I did my best with the Barbie doll and the rescue the two rescue dolls I um, got from the thrift shop. I did my best with it, their hair. Hang on, I'll put the light on and I'll be back. Apologies to anyone who um, 
likes seeing me get up and putting the light on or off and is missing me not doing that <laughs> so on screen as it were but I thought it probably annoys more people than like it so um, I've decided to stop the recording every time I get up and turn the light on or off in one of my many trailers I thought perhaps I ought to do a segment where well, I'm showing what to expect in my videos and there's one of oh, me getting up to put the light on or off or turning the radio down or up. <laughs> Anyhow, why am I shouting? Oh, dear. Yeah, so I did my best to... I don't know how this one's hair is meant to go, if anyone knows. Perhaps they could tell me if anyone knows what this doll is, who she's meant to be. I. I could do a bit of research, I suppose, looking for a blue fairy. But yeah, this one, her hair was like curled up round like that on the ends. But um, I put it in, you know, the hot water, straightened it, and she got a bit tied round the back. So I don't know which Barbie's this meant to be, or is she just a regular playline Barbie? I like her dress. That's the reason I got her for the dress and her earrings and the fact that she had shoes. But I can, ha I can cope with handling her now, whereas before she looked so unsavoury. Well, I've got some more of those from Waitrose. I actually don't want to see those. Um, these are some of Waitrose. These were on special offer yesterday in Waitrose. I didn't have any of the lovely mints, but I got some of these. I need some of that to cheer myself up. Waitrose Dutchy Organic Special Tea, tea Tin, Tea Caddy. I think they're called caddies, tea caddy. I'm not a big fan of English breakfast tea. I find it rather strong for my taste, but it's okay. It's nice. It's all right. I wouldn't, I'm not, you know, I won't say I won't drink it. Got some Halloween spooky LED lights from Waitrose, and they're obviously got reflections going on. They're made like little pumpkins. Little pumpkins. Oh, they take three. Infernal batteries. I wonder why some take three and others only take two. It's annoying when you've got to put three AA bat batteries in, or three of ed batteries of anything when most batteries are sold in regular packs. Anyhow, anyhow, anyhow. I'm not even going to speak. Even to say anything. Got it from the entertainer. We'll focus on her in more detail. I don't know what to do about the reflections. In Marks and Spencer's three for two, pushing makeup palette. It's got a magnetic clasp. And uh, those are the nice colours you get. There's lip lip balm, lipstick, blush cheeks and uh, nice colour eyeshadows. Sorry about all the reflections. At least I can see myself on screen at the moment so I can see which how to position it so that it's not too bad. When I can't see myself and it's just a white screen I'd be saying look this is it look can you see this is it very nice look at the nice colours and you'd be getting that so yeah at least I can actually show the colours because I can see myself which is um Pushing with his unicorn horn and this as well. I was going to get a bath um, bag thing as well, a sparkly silver pushing bath bag with, I think, bath um, product in, but uh, it was £16 and I thought, no, I can't afford that, it's expensive. Because um, it's buy three, get buy three for two in Marks and Spencer's on these, I can't it still. So, um, and the cheapest one is free, as you no doubt know. So I got, now the funny thing is, this doesn't smell the same as the pushing one that they had out last year. This smells, this smells like the frozen one that they did last year. The, or does it? No, yeah, that's right, because I remember saying the Pusheen one last year smelt more like how you'd think the Frozen one 
ought to smell. And the frozen one smells like candy, sweet candy, it's lovely. Well, this smells like that this year. I'm not saying it's exactly the same, but hang on. Another annoying thing, you've got to unscrew that. It's a little Phillips screw. And um, the little Phillips screwdriver I've always got to hand just goes round and round in it. So it means I've got to hunt around to find out my girly screwdriver that's called... I've got other screwdrivers, but it's going downstairs and getting out my hefty, heavy tool bag. Anyhow, there's another look at the pusheen. It's got like a... I don't know, I can't remember if last year's one had the same picture of the pusheen on, with that unicorn horn on a cloud under a rainbow, like this one shows. It may not have been the same, but um, I've just sprayed some and I wouldn't say... It doesn't smell exactly the same as the um, frozen one. I still think that one smells nicer, but it's very nice. It's very similar. Now I've got to find my girly screwdriver. Got this years ago from dear old Woolworths. Look, come on, one of the first, last things I bought before they closed. Closed their doors for good. Oh gosh. I won't say my misspent youth. <laughs> I won't say it. Because that wouldn't be true. But, uh, so a nice girly screwdriver. It's one of those double-ended ones. I broke the other end by trying to... I brought something home, a door handle thing for my friend, and tried to... because he couldn't get it. And I broke the end off that, trying to get the screw out of his wretched door handle thing. Then when I went back, it, oh, I didn't didn't need it after all, because I managed... I, I found something else or something you were saying. I broke my screwdriver in the meantime. So let's see if this one does it. Oh yeah, it actually is. She was talking about Eric Sarte. He only ate white food, apparently. And um, I know he developed a, a club. I know he devised a special religion or club or something in France. But he was the only member, only one allowed to be a member. Which I thought was, you know, I love some of his music. The Gymnopodies. And uh, the Nauseans or whatever. I'm sorry, I don't know how you pronounce it. Oh, these are pretty, look. It's pretty. They're made like little pumpkins. Let me try and untangle them. It's that sort of wire, that's that sort of thin, funny sort of wire that you can position. And I'm not too keen on this. I mean, it's not like normal, the normal sort of wire you get with lights. I know this is, it's not capable of picking up exactly what they look like, but they're very pretty. And I haven't got a camera, I've left it at my friend's house, so I can't do it with my camera. Well, at least not at the moment, hopefully another time. So yeah, these are these little lights from Waitrose, the little... I didn't notice those in Waitrose before, so these are new. There's the wrapper. Not like anybody's really interested, but... I'm sure some people are that want to know what waitresses do for their Halloween. So yeah. Friday the 13th today, oh dear. So already started, oh yeah, well. I'm not going to talk about it here, it was so upsetting what I saw last night, what happened. It was, anyhow. Let's just say I was glad to get back and find my little friend waiting for me safely in the path. So I had her in here all night. But um, anyhow, here she is, Sara Sushi in Japan. 
perhaps Autumn can stand there and look at you while I read what it says on the back of the sour sushi box. World Vacation, pack your bags and make your way to the departure lounge. The shoppies World Vacation is now boarding. Visit fabulous cities and share some high-flying fun with these world-class shoppies and their Shopkins friends. Bon voyage. I know it says that on the back of all of these particular ones, but anyhow, let's read Sara Sushi's personal message. Konnichiwa. Konnichiwa. I don't know what that means, obviously. Shopkins friends probably means hello. It's Sara Sushi. All the way from beautiful Japan. Join me and my Shopkins Katomi cups and Toshi tea for a traditional tea ceremony and share some sushi with my Shopkins cuties while we discover the blossoming beauty of this ancient nation, Sayonara, Sara Sushi, Sayonara, Sayonara. As far as I understand, I may be totally wrong, but I'm sure that she shouldn't really be saying that. That's like meaning a very final tradition, a very final and very formal goodbye forever. I don't, whereas normally she she should be saying something like, it shouldn't be such a formal goodbye. I think that's, I think I'm right in saying that. But anyhow, there it is. Shop, Shoppies fans. So, um, picture's gone again. I've got, yeah. So I'm hoping it's, you can see her. I think I just come back briefly so I can, yeah. She's lovely. And this has got the top of this is like indent, dent. I haven't undone this. I haven't undone it because it's sealed. That's what I could look inside. Luckily, I've got some trusty scissors to hand. Get the cello tape off the side. Some people do an hour long ASMR video just saying, I'm just going to unwrap this now. and. But I think my listeners, my watchers, would probably just be furious and thinking, what is this rubbish? Anyhow. I'd like to do ASMR videos. Yeah, these are what you find inside. It's hair. Hair items. Elasticated. They're quite, they'd be quite useful. Definitely useful. And these are nice little pusheen hair slides. They're nice. Like little um Yeah. And a little mirror look. Which is always useful of course. Pretty, isn't it? So that's what's in this little tin. 